One of the reasons why you feel so good after exercise is because you boost something known as neurogenesis. But what else can be used to directly stimulate neurogenesis and help one with their cognitive goals? What's up guys, my name is Lucas and in this video, what I'm gonna explore is a novel compound that can deliberately stimulate a process known as neurogenesis. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my mission is to bring you the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So please be sure to like this video, smash subscribe below, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below as I do my best to respond to each and every single one. So ultimately what I'm here to discuss is how we can increase what's known as neurogenesis. But first of all, let's take a look at what is neurogenesis and a bit of a definition behind this term. So neurogenesis is an intrinsic process of hippocampal function that acts as an adaptive mechanism and as a substrate for experience dependent changes. The generation of new neurons allows the hippocampus to more effectively respond to cognitive demands that may benefit from the integration of new neurons into existing neural circuits. So think of neurogenesis as something that is incredibly important for the formation of new memories. And you can see in this picture here, we have the type one stem cell of the neuron and then we can see as it develops and matures through this process of neurogenesis that the actual neuron itself is becoming more and more mature, adaptive, and also possesses a range of different skill sets or criterias that can develop into a mature neuron. So here's some quick facts about neurogenesis. Neurogenesis is very sensitive to both external and endogenous factors and our environment and daily behaviors will greatly influence our cognitive abilities. You guys will all know this. Think about the activities that you do on a daily basis. Think about whether you decide to exercise, the people you're around, think about the foods that you eat. All of these factors can actually influence this process known as neurogenesis. So for example, a stimulating environment entailing high levels of mental and physical activity social interaction and sensory and motor stimulation can all enhance the rate of neurogenesis, which can actually potentiate the different stages of hippocampal neurogenesis. As an example of behavior, we know that good nutrition can affect the rate of neurogenesis. It wouldn't surprise me if blueberries and other certain foods can induce a state of neurogenesis. I'll probably do a follow-up video on this topic. Even sufficient sleep can help aid the process of neurogenesis. But of course, I wanted to locate a specific compound that can stimulate this process of neurogenesis that doesn't rely on the use of psychedelic drugs or pharmacological antidepressants. This is excluding LSD, psilocybin, and other psychedelics, which have been shown to induce neurogenesis. But today I'm here to present a non-psychoactive non-psychedelic compound that can induce uh, neurogenesis. And that compound is known as NPEP12, otherwise known as Memoprove. What I'm gonna do is focus in on this particular product and I'll teach you everything you need to know about this particular product to boost a process known as neurogenesis. So you'll see a link in the video description below. But of course, Let's get stuck into how this particular product works and some of the key benefits behind NPEP12. NPEP12 is a combination of neuropeptides designed to improve cognitive performance. It has efficacy confirmed by clinical trials as well as by results of placebo controlled studies in groups of healthy volunteers. This mixture of neuropeptides is obtained by enzymatic hydrolysis of purified proteins of nerve cells in compliance with all GMP standards and is actually approved by representatives of the European healthcare system. So this particular patented product, the manufacturer was Clock Pharma Service in Germany 
um, for Ever Neuro Pharma GmbH in Austria. So um, I'll dive deeper into how NPEP 12 works in just a moment. The mechanisms of action behind MemoProve or NPEP 12 are implemented in two main directions. We have the stimulation of neuroplasticity, which is the formation of new interneuronal connections and regenerative processes leading to an improvement in cognitive functions such as memory, attention, and concentration. We also get a stimulation or an induction of neuroprotective agents or its ability to be neuroprotective is one of its core benefits. So we can see that it helps to protect neurons and connections between them and prevents damage to nerve cells against the background of exposure to adverse factors such as stress, toxic substance exposure, or lack of blood flow or oxygen. So you can see here, the study was titled NPEP12, a novel peptide compound that protects cortical neurons in culture against different age and disease associated lesions. NPEP12 appears to have a broad spectrum mechanism of action so we'll touch on this shortly. What are the benefits of NPEP12 or MemoProve? NPEP12 has been clinically shown to slow down the main processes causing memory problems. This would work really well with other acetylcholine boosting supplements. I can see a very powerful anti-aging or anti-Alzheimer's stack, quote unquote. Obviously, this is not medical advice, but it just makes me think that this particular compound would work really well in someone's sort of anti-aging brain stack. In addition, NPEP12 supports optimal brain function. It stimulates the production of new brain cells, i.e. neurogenesis. It increases the transport and utilization of glucose by the brain, which is really important. In fact, there's research sort of hinting towards that Alzheimer's is simply just type three diabetes of the brain. That's really interesting. And then also increases the lifespan and energy production of senescent brain cells. This study was titled Neuropeptide Dietary Supplement NPEP12 Enhances Cognitive Function and Activates Brain Bioelectrical Activity in Healthy Elderly Subjects. Here's a sample study of NPEP12 in action. We can see the differences of NPEP12 versus placebo. Um, we can see the changes in memory, uh, word recall, word recognition, and delayed word recall. Um, so I'll be linking to this particular study in the video description if you wanna check that out. So the question is, who can use NPEP12? NPEP12 is best utilized for those who have mild to moderate memory problems, those who want to improve short-term memory, i.e. for nootropic purposes, those who want to maintain memory in case of its age-related disorders, those who want to improve concentration, mental clarity, and mental alertness, those who have to process large volumes of information who are under stress or who have trouble sleeping. So we can see here, this study was titled, Long-Term Treatment of Aged Long Evans Rats with a dietary supplement containing neuroprotective peptides, NPEP12, to prevent brain aging. Effects of three months daily treatment by oral gavage. So we can see that NPEP12 definitely has some exciting research studies. And again, it's, it's novel to see a compound that can be used orally, uh, that is in peptide form, that doesn't get broken down by the gut, that is bioavailable and actually hits the brain and stimulates a process known as neurogenesis. So in terms of a dosage strategy or a cycling um, strategy, we can see here adults one tablet once a day with meals. And in terms of the course duration, it's typically one month. But if necessary, this course can be uh, repeated after one to two months. However, there are some contraindications with NPEP12. Individuals intolerant to some of the components in the product, such as lactose deficiency, pregnancy, and even breastfeeding should all reconsider usage. But all, as always, guys, make sure to consult with your doctor before use. So hopefully you learned something new about increasing neurogenesis. Bear in mind, guys, 
This is just a tool in our toolkit to improve our brain performance. Keep in mind, obviously sleep, diet, exercise, meditation, all of these processes do contribute to neurogenesis, but this can definitely be another tool to help improve cognitive function if one has pretty much exhausted all other avenues. So hopefully you learned something new. Please be sure to share this video. I'm really excited to see you guys in the next video.